Senator Antonio Trillanes calls President Rodrigo Duterte's dinner invitation for Vice President Lenny Robredo a trap, saying that it's a tactic the president already used in the past. Trillanes says, quote, it is a trap to disarm and politically neutralize her at this time that Duterte is facing the biggest political storm yet of his term as president. Malacanang on Saturday confirmed that Duterte invited Robredo and her family to dinner. But the palace did not say when and where the dinner would take place, as other officials are not privy to details. Duterte extended the invitation to Robredo in a chat during the Philippine National Police Academy graduation rites last Friday. But just the day before that, Duterte accused Robredo of being one of the possible masterminds of a supposed ouster plot against him, along with Trollianes and detained Senator Laila de Lima. Robredo has repeatedly denied involvement in such a plot, saying that while she criticizes some of Duterte's policies, she is not after the presidency. Japan turns over two TC-90 patrol aircraft to the Philippine Navy Monday. The new planes are expected to boost the capability of the ill-equipped Navy to conduct maritime aerial reconnaissance. It's the first batch of the five Beechcraft TC-90 King Air Advanced Trainer aircraft that the Japan Ministry of Defense agreed to lease to the Philippine military in an arrangement with the previous Aquino administration. The Philippines will pay $28,000 a year, or about 1.4 million pesos, pending an agreement that will allow Japan to donate the second-hand aircraft. The TC-90s left Japan March 24. They were flown by Japanese pilots and made stops in Lawag Airport and Villimore Air Base before reaching Sangli Point. The Navy has been using its old islanders to patrol and deliver supplies to military outposts in the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea. There are plans to decommission these with the arrival of the TC-90s. United States President Donald Trump on Sunday blames his Republican Party's ultra-conservative wing for the failed attempt to repeal Obamacare. Trump, in a tweet, says the hardline Freedom Caucus and two other influential conservative groups are to blame for the stunning setback. He also suggests they had weakened efforts to curb abortions, a touchstone conservative cause. Trump tweets, quote, Democrats are smiling in D.C. that the Freedom Caucus, with the help of Club for Growth and Heritage, have saved Planned Parenthood and Obamacare. His attack on the Freedom Caucus puts a spotlight on intra-party tensions as Trump turns to other key priorities like tax reform and a big infrastructure spending plan. The failure to gain the tax savings that the repeal bill would have brought will make it harder for him to provide the massive tax cuts he promised. Mm -hmm.